And what a beautiful Tuesday morning it is. 41 degrees, bundle up when you head out the door, though. Feels quite chilly and kind of windy, too, so it makes it feel just a little bit cooler. High temperatures today around 58 with your low, tonight at 33. Tomorrow, a little bit, well, 62 for your high, full sunshine, 37 for that low. And just not a lot to talk about as far as the weather is concerned. Just these temperatures sticking around and possible rain on Saturday and Sunday with only a 20% chance of those showers so far. We'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Dr. Jan White with me this morning. How are you? Great. Good. Jamie had done a art, read an article not too long ago about baby boomers suddenly wanting a divorce once the kids are gone and we're looking at each other saying, I don't like you anymore. But what did you do? Well, Jamie asked me to cover this topic because this has been front and center in the news lately, mm -hmm. um, not only in the um, magazines and newspapers, but it's also been on television. So he said, let's look into this. So baby boomers are panicking everywhere. Yeah, so baby boomers, that what I found out in the research is that it's not true. And what I There's did... There's a sigh of relief for right, baby boomers. It's not true. You have to delve further into these issues. You can't okay. just take it at face value. The first clue was I couldn't find anything in my vast research library um, about this topic, so I thought, okay, there's nothing scholarly. We laugh at Jan. She, she's, she's a notebook nerd. I mean, she is in the book. Well, she I'm is a professor. She and has so to. I have access to these research databases. And there was nothing in there. Nothing. No, nothing in the scholarly research, but I found a lot of newspaper and magazine articles, so that's okay. a big red flag. Huh. Now, I did find census data, and census data is very accurate. So believe it or not, the census looked into this in 2009. Okay. They did a study on marriage. Not that long ago. Here's what I found out. The highest divorce rate is between the ages of 35 to 44 years of age. <gasps> Couple of years. Okay. Uh -uh, couple okay, years that's before. people born between 1965 and 1974. Okay. Okay. Now the other problem is the baby boomer cohort is huge. It's the hugest group of people born between 1946 and 64. Okay. In the history of the United large, States, large there's 75 million. Shoo. Okay, mm -hmm. so in order to have statistically correct numbers, you have to look at an 18-year group of people. Okay. Okay. So here's what I did. Did a little bit of math. The years between 19, uh, the ages 1945 to 64, which includes that's the baby boomers, the divorce rate was 35.5 percent because Good. you're looking at you know 19 years. Does that count? Now, if you look at you the people, out. the 19 years after that, the uh -huh. divorce rate is 55.2. So the baby boomers Ooh. are not divorcing in record numbers. There's a lot of them. Okay. Okay, that's, that's the issue. So that may be just why there seems like there's more. That's right. So mm. you really do have to delve into this, okay? okay? Now, here's why people are divorcing. Midlife crisis, widespread lack of communication skills, layoffs, crushing pressures, and impermanence of modern life. Well, that's been going on since well, the beginning the of party? time. Yeah, third, Judge, yeah, don't third you parties. See that yeah, Where's and downsizing. Party? <laughs> now, here's I found out how you can um, recognize the signs that things are, are not uh -oh, working okay. out. Let's okay, hear. here's some. <laughs> Number one, bodybuilding, dieting, buying new underwear, and impro <laughs> improving grooming and clothes. Okay. Uh, and you know, as I was reading this to Dave last night, he was doing all of this. And oh, he says, really? honey, trust me. So then, well, he, but he needed new underwear. Oh, well, of anyway. course, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, now, frequent and uncharacteristic irritability. Hmm. Being stressed and tired with no interest in sex. Well, that'll do it every time. Now, there that, you go. that applies to a lot of people. <laughs> okay, number three. A desperate and often foolish effort to look and act young mm -hmm. in defiance of spreading wrinkles, receding hair, and bulging waistline. <laughs> well, I'm doing that. I mean, I'm doing that all the time. You didn't describe and I have, not one single person in this and, room. And I have no intention of divorcing Dave. <laughs> no, we know you don't. He's buying now, new underwear. I found something interesting, too. Now, this okay. is from Alberta, Canada, um, and marriage therapist mm -hmm. came up with a reliable predictor. Okay. Number one, a reliable predictor of divorce is one partner showing disdain, like rolling your eyes. I did that to Jamie I did this that morning. like ten times a day. <laughs> Fred, 
glad you're enjoying it. Okay, this, now this was a shocker. Okay, we're ready. For every household task which a husband routinely performs around the home, the wife has 1% fewer thoughts of divorce. Really? So yes. all you men, if you start picking up something at the house or doing something at the house, will not right. think about divorcing you? Right. You know so works? I thought of 10 things that Dave does. <laughs> Laundry, power washing, dishes, grocery shopping, vacuuming, dusting, car wash, sweeping the deck, feeding oh the dog, God. and good gosh, the are you sure shrubs. you don't want a divorce? So that's only ten. Per, that only reduces it ten percent. See, I think I think that's a lot of stuff. Ten percent. That ought to be at least I, a ninety-five percent. I know. I know. You want to hear my list? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So the bottom line here is don't believe everything you read because, you know, the numbers, you've got to really delve a little bit further. So, so just because Jamie's read six newspapers already this morning and thinks he knows everything, don't believe him? Well, but, you know, this is all over the media, this baby boom divorce thing. Uh -huh. And so it's just not true. That's the bottom line. All right. What are those signs that they're cheating again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be interesting. Oh. We'll have to talk to Judge here in just a little bit. I bet you he can probably add oh, to yeah. that list could, quite a bit. Yeah, he could, I'm sure. All right. Well, Dr. Dan White, thank you for being with okay, us this morning. Very welcome. interesting. That was yeah. cute and comical this morning. Wow. The boys are quiet over there. I know. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> that is a first. They're speechless. Uh, All right. Well, we're going to uh, take a quick break. Stay with us. Judge Vance coming up next, Sheriff Blakely, and we'll have video of the homecoming parade that took place for Athens High School. We'll be right back.